no spoilers, let's just say the sequel lives up to the hype and the world premiere was quite an event. It was a swanky Fifty Shades themed masquerade ball. You're just gonna stand there gawking? Yes. It's steamy, it's sexy, it's Fifty Shades darker. The eagerly anticipated sequel picks up just days after the first one left off. But for fans of the frisky franchise, it's been a long two-year wait for the racy reunion between Christian Grey and Anastasia Steele. In here? Right here. The movie's world premiere was a real-life reunion for stars Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson. It's been a while since we've seen each other, and there was a big hug, big embrace. I mean, this is really a, a really great friendship that you have. I think we were kind of um, forced into being best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have said it nicer myself. <laughs> Forced. It's nice. She had to sign a contract. Thank God, because if we didn't get along, it would be really, really awful. It would be. It would be. And uh, you know, it, it's a it's a very unique sort of a friendship. You know, and it's a friendship that is built on maybe more trust than other friendships need to be because of the situations we had to get through with each other. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> What is it about these books, Jamie, do you think, that really struck a chord, especially among women? People just care about these characters and they truly buy into the to the love story of it and, and you know, the want of these two people to be together is huge for the fans. How much have your lives changed just by this series alone? My life has changed exponentially. Obviously, like the public awareness of my entire life. <laughs> is <laughs> not what it was prior to this. It has to mean something to know that you struck a chord, there are people who are really into this, and especially these two. Absolutely. Yeah. And we, we're very grateful for that. It's kind of a responsibility to fill fans' expectations, but I'm feeling very cocky that we have. Well done. <laughs> There's always an innu innuendo when talking about this movie. At the risk of getting ourselves into even more trouble, we headed inside to the masquerade ball, just like the one in the movie. A lot of fun there last night. A lot of eager fans just can't wait to see the movie, which opens up on February 10th. Guys, just in time for Valentine's Day. 